Well, when it comes to real estate, there are some confusing numbers out there. Some reports say we're down, we're up. And CNBC just came out with a report that home prices in five of the worst performing major metropolitan areas, San Diego is one of them, are down more than 40%. So should we buy or wait it out? Louis Ortiz is here to talk about our real estate market and also to talk about a way of giving back within your company. So, hey, thanks for coming hey, back nice in, to as see always. You again. How are you? We were just yapping away during the, the break. Yeah. There's always things to talk about in real estate. So, um, is it bottoming out? I mean, what do you think for in terms of how San Diego is doing in I the real estate market? I think we're getting there. I don't think we're quite there yet. I, I definitely see more price declines. There's more short sales and foreclosures on the market. I really think that we need to get through some of that inventory before we see the bottom. We're getting closer, definitely, but I don't think we're there quite yet. And everyone's hoping to see that and wondering yeah. if this is the time. You know, you see a lot of investors are coming in yeah. and saying, well, should I buy up a bunch of places in a, a community where the prices are way down? Yeah, there's some tremendous deals out there. Um, you know, like you said, a lot of investors are able to buy some properties and actually make positive cash flow, rent them out. And for buyers, it's just some, some really, really great buying opportunities out there. So uh, in San Diego, then, what? where do we stand? What's the median price right now? Right. And what are the areas that maybe people should look at? Well, a report just came out. Uh, we're looking at about $323,000 for the median price. That's attached and detached homes. And uh, that just came out. That was a 14% drop. So we're still seeing a lot of price declines in the county. But, you know, I'll tell you, these the short sales and foreclosures, it gets so confusing for people. And I imagine even on your end, you all had to take these uh, crash courses yeah. when it started to... Uh, get up to date and up to speed on how to make these work. Well, you know, it's very interesting. One of the uh, the lead generation strategies that, that my team uses to get clients is we help people with expired listings and canceled listings. Those are people that had their properties on the market and they didn't sell. One of the things I've noticed is that a lot of those properties that are coming off the market right now are short sales. And one of the things that I talk about when I talk to a lot of these people is a lot of them don't know that there are some tricks and, and things with the short sales. Um, one particular thing that I'd like to point out is, uh, you know, when somebody's going to sell their home as a short sale, the idea is that they're trying to sell it for less than what they owe. It's all subject to the lender approval. But I've heard some instances recently where a lot of these people bought these property on, on stated income loans where they stated that they made a certain amount of money and they, they had a certain credit score so they got the loan. After the short sale is completed though, they provide all their financial information to the lenders. The lenders are sometimes coming back and suing those people for mortgage fraud because they're finding out that they really didn't make the money that they said they made when they when they took out that loan. So I think that when people are going in, in to, into this market right now, you really have to do a lot of research and make sure that all of your I's are dotted and T's are crossed. Yeah, people need to just be really careful, talk to their real estate professional, talk to their attorneys, their CPAs, and just really be real careful out there. There are some tremendous deals, but people really should be careful. Okay, I want to get into uh, how you're giving back to the community in just yeah. a second, but one thing, just for prospective buyers, sellers, what are critical factors to look at right now before they do this? As far as as far as the purchasing process, mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, there's so much uh, there's so much inventory right now uh, that buyers should really just take their time, really shop around, look around, make offers. You know, uh, sellers need to be very realistic about their pricing. I've also seen some situations where buyers and sellers will agree upon a price, but then when they go to get a loan, the appraisal comes in less than what the buyer and seller agreed upon. Yeah, that happened to uh, actually someone in my family. Uh. They came back and it was all ready to go, and they said, yeah. "Wait a minute, we decided that we're only going to give you this much." It yeah. was different. And I've seen more Big and more difference. of that. Yeah, it's been happening. So people just need to be really careful, just really do their due diligence and, and you know, really investigate things thoroughly. Okay, so tomorrow you're going to start this, uh, your company's starting a nationwide launch of what's called Red Day. Can you tell us what that yeah, is Yeah, Red Day, it's the first time that this has happened. Uh, one of our founders, Mo Anderson, it's her birthday and she's, uh, I think she's about 74 years old and her, for her birthday she wanted to have a community service day where all of the 75,000 uh, Keller Williams agents uh, provide one day of community service across the country. Our agents are all out there wearing red t-shirts and different offices are doing different things. Um, our office is doing a food drive for uh, the military outreach program out at for Camp Pendleton to help military families. Uh, but several offices are doing different things. It's nationwide. It's really a great event to see real estate agents actually giving back to their communities nationwide. Okay, so how can people get involved in that here? Well, our office will have a link on the uh, San Diego 6 website. Our office is doing a food drive. People can bring non-perishable food to our office on El Camino Rel. And uh, different offices are doing different things, and we'll put a link on your uh, on your website with that information. Okay, so they can look up whatever which one yes. and find out wh how, how they can help. Absolutely. Okay. Great. So tomorrow only, this is yes. when it happens, and we're just giving a little preview here. We'll have the information linked to our website. Great. Hey, yeah. thanks. Great as to always, see you again. Thanks. Okay, have a great week.